How's it going everybody? It's the man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, and in today's video, I'll be bringing you guys some new Black Ops 2 nuclear gameplay on the map Nuketown 2025. Now regularly, I don't bring you guys too much map pack DLC gameplay, but when the new map packs do come out, I really, really like to bring you guys some gameplay on those, just mainly because of the fact my channel is really about being one of the first people to ever upload what's new to Call of Duty and all the different Call of Duty news. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is a 30 gun streak on the map Nuketown 2025. Actually, I believe it's around a 31 or 32 or something like that which if you guys didn't already does amount to a nuclear and it is just like the moab back from modern warfare 3 but i really do enjoy getting nuclears in black ops 2 but what i'm here to talk about today in front of you guys and just really discuss with you guys is really about the map packs in call of duty now of course tell me down in the comment section below what is your favorite map pack ever to be created in call of duty now for my favorite map pack that I've ever seen in any Call of Duty, this would go all the way back to the beginning of Black Ops 1, the first map pack that Treyarch ever put out for Black Ops 1. I would definitely have to choose that to be my favorite map pack of all time, which if you guys didn't know, it is titled First Strike, and the reason why I like First Strike so much is mainly because of the fact I love the map Kowloon. Now a lot of people didn't really enjoy the map Kowloon, mainly because of the fact it was really dark and it was really just a bit gloomy, but I really liked how there was a zip line. there were so many different things you could do, it was just a really well designed map I like how it's different levels and a lot of people they don't really like having different levels like different houses like second story third story I mean of course not in real life people always love that I mean some people don't but I really just like how overall it was really cool and really well designed but my favorite map in all of Black Ops 1, I know I share this in common with a lot of my real real life friends, they all really like the map Stadium, and I really have to fall under that too. And right there in the gameplay, I thought I was going to die, honestly guys. A lot in this gameplay, my screen was basically red the whole time. I was really, really scared. But again guys, Stadium, it was such a really well designed map. The colors were so bright, and I'm sure you guys can tell with all the map packs, I really like it when the colors are extremely bright. You can tell why I really like Nuketown 2025 now. But again guys, I think First Strike was overall a great map pack. Alrighty guys, so don't forget to tell me how you think Treyarch is doing with the Black Ops 2 DLC. Honestly, right now, I really feel like they're completely dominating the Call of Duty DLC field. I really like it guys, all the DLC that Treyarch seems to put out, really you can tell that they actually put effort into it. Now I feel like what they do is they actually create like 20 maps, and before the game goes out they have all those 20 maps created, and I feel like they randomly select the 12 that actually come with the game, and then they later on release those, and I really also like how they actually included gun DLC in the beginning of the revolutionary map pack I really like that now I really don't like how they didn't give a second gun DLC but I mean they gave us gun DLC in the first place which again is a huge bonus no other Call of Duty franchise has ever done, ever done anything like that but guys what I, what you can really tell how Treyarch actually cares about their game is how active their people are on Twitter how active their directors are on Twitter how active uh, how active the game managers are on Twitter people like David Vonderhaar he actually interacts with the fans I mean maybe he's blocked a few people here and there but that's just some people are they're just kind of a bit dumb I mean if you've been blocked by David Vonderhaar. I'm not saying you're dumb or anything like that, but really guys, you can tell that they really care about their game, mainly because the fact is they're constantly updating the game. They're constantly patching all these glitches. They're constantly patching 10th prestige glitches, care package glitches, little things just like that. But I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, tell me down in the comment section below, what is your favorite Call of Duty map pack to ever be released? Add this video to your favorites if it was one of your favorite videos. Give me a big thumbs up. If we could try and hit 150 likes in this video, that would be really cool. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I upload every single day, sometimes even multiple times a day. Make sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram down in the description below. Go ahead and like my Facebook page. It's been QuantumFT, and I'll see you next time.